This is our moderator. Oh, the moderator. Hi, how are you? Uh, I'm just curious to what the vote count is currently, if I can get an update. Hi. Um, I was wondering if I can get a uh, voter uh, total tally, if you have it, the number on the... On the... I'd, be, yeah, I'd be happy to give that to you. Yeah. Um, Hey, would you feel like asking some questions about this year's vote as concerning marijuana? No, <laughs> He's starting off right with that. That's the icebreaker. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk to Joe Biden right in. Here, here we are today. What is this? This must be Keene Middle School. Keene has a very rich history. They've been voting here in Keene since the 1800s. Prior to that, it was the 1700s. And they've been here doing things since the 60s. Hey guys, could I ask you guys questions about today's exciting vote? Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you should just say it's not exciting. Oh, what? All right, so here we are in New Hampshire. 70% of people in New Hampshire want access to medical cannabis, legal cannabis, and it's just not happening very fast. And I'm just wondering how many people are here for that reason. Well, I thought that we already, I thought that we already did. Matter of fact, there's a facility right there. There's that. That's for the uh, for the medical cannabis um, through the state program. Uh, now, what really what I'm saying is legal cannabis. point out is uh, the dispensary here is Mezcal. Yeah. Well, what no, I wish. there's only I think one of four. Are five. you the newsman? Are you supposed yeah, to listen? Yeah, Okay. Now, okay. My, my my view is that they ought to just let us grow it. Yes. What the hell is this? Of course. What do you mean? Let us grow it. Oh, yeah. We don't need to. You don't We're the news. Put it under any oh, laws. Oh, you're not? Yeah. 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 No, I'm recording. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, okay, one of the plans was having the farmers grow it. I'm sorry. And it's okay. having a it's for the cannabis camp part. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's the hang-up now is they're trying to figure out a formula where the state can put it up and uh, put their stores to make money on it. Yeah. Um, it, has nothing to, it has nothing to do with medical or recreational. It's all about profit. That's true. No. Um, and New Hampshire's always been really good at sin tax. Hello. That's right. We yeah. tax cigarettes and yeah. booze. And, yep. And lots of uh, lots of people going to court to get possession charges and make a lot of money off of well, not anymore. Yeah. It's uh, oh, they do. Well, not New Hampshire. Really. Yes, they do. Really? Yes. No kidding. Big time. Um, I, yeah, because what, the, what well, they I'm do a county now, commissioner in Cheshire County, and I, I know I've, our, I've, our judges yeah. don't. I, I've had zero problems <laughs> in my life with cannabis until I that's came like, here. That's, that's, like, that's like getting uh -huh. <laughs> not, not, not DUI, not using it, just nonsense, nonsense possession. Oh yeah, they're Evening, really, they're really Hi. stumped Hi. on that one. Yeah, yeah. driving the because they don't have a I test. Yeah, I wasn't it wasn't even okay. <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't the problem. It, 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 what I'm saying, we're not Are you high now? DUI. No. Okay. Um, Are you going to all the I mean, I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is uh, their second town. You know the me, Where hopefully I we can get, get up to Walpole. Walpole. Oh, yeah. gosh, I stopped for a long time, and I've got to tell you, the potency of yeah. weed today, I mean, it, it, it's like hard drugs. Okay, I would, disagree, crazy, with, I would disagree with that so to a degree. Now, I'm not saying your experience, it might be your experience. But the thing is, <laughs> for a long time, the weed we were getting is it wasn't it's addictive the when the weed was supposed to be. It was not real well. It didn't have a power buzz. No, it was just it was just, it was just grown in somebody's rough. backyard. Right. And, and so the seeds though haven't changed. There isn't new seeds. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying there isn't any hybrids, but like what I'm saying is the seeds that were the hybrid, the bread, the land race strain. But uh, Jordan Poison, that's the African strain, the Sativa uh, strain, uh, that strain hasn't changed. It's the same strain. That's actually why people like it, because it hasn't changed. And a lot of, you know, there are new hybrids, but but there's, the hybrids are better than the new hand race. Well, stuff that's today all. is is more potent than what used to be called like a Thai stick. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know, the, the, the Asian uh, uh, strains. Yeah, Back then, that was uh, more stuff. Acapulco stuff we gold. Got. But I, I, I'll tell you, I still get Acapulco gold. And I get strains that are new, and I don't think that the alcohol to gold isn't as strong as like, something that's dry from it. Mm. Well, all I know now yeah. is I used to be able to smoke weed with me. Uh, right. Uh, laughing, sing, and such like that. But it wasn't too long ago. I had one hit twice on it. Yeah, I, I, I think what, I, what I'm saying, you know, I, I think it's, I, I think it's the case that we were getting into 
we were getting yeah. cannabis that wasn't dirty. We did. So, oh, you did. Like, but I yeah. think it wasn't a judge. Like, I think it wasn't a benchmark. I think it was like if you got like really bad, like, cool. And then at one time, my grandma was like, she was a pretty happy. She wasn't part of that. Really Too much sugar. Kool-Aid. Yeah, yeah. But not was, enough sugar. It was the intended of the Kool Aid was out. Like you were used to watered down Kool Aid. Right. And so I think that's the case. Like we were used to this watered down version. We how it's hurting profile. We now know how important that is, especially in the healing for medicinal people. Uh, what I found with medicinal cannabis in New Hampshire, while it's true, we do have some form of medicinal cannabis where we don't have in a place where they're not requiring people to try opiates first. And so that's happening now. That's actually part of it. And one of the things it'll do, it'll make the state remodel. The other thing is it'll, it'll take away the lot now that requires people who are looking for pain to not be able to have access to cannabis until they try around opiates. Uh, that's that's a bad thing. It's a, sure is. Yeah, sure is. and so that, that's kind of what I, what I mean when I say it's medical. We don't actually have to be medical. Uh, and it's very expensive. It's not It's not for everybody. I can't afford it right now. Uh, Joe. Oh, that's another problem. Can you even hear me, Joe? I was listening. You can't hear me. Well, it it's recording, so it's good. Yeah, it's good. That's another problem. They, they, they priced it out of the reach of the because you can grow. Yeah, well, I mean, even the real good stuff you have to tend a lot. Maybe you have to, you know, put in uh, infrastructure, greenhouse, take more attention to it, stuff like that. But uh, to say that marijuana. That's why it'll always be on the black market. That's right. Rightly so. That's where it belongs. Because I'm a, you know, I'm into that. Because, you know, what happens is these giant companies get into it for the wrong reason, for business purposes, and they'll leave each other. You go to the best group of about two good nights. They're all crazy. They're all crazy. They're all crazy. They deal with gold. They're all kind of problems. And, and the best group of people who are going to go small amounts of cannabis. Okay, so what is cannabis.org? So, it's the hubs have history of contemporary cannabis culture. So cannabis was a huge part of not only New England and Massachusetts, but the entirety of the country. We were here initially. Uh, yeah, right. Right. Uh, yeah, right. Right. Yeah. People had to put cannabis in the ground as part of the uh, practical uh, agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the 1620, the Pilgrims came. The Pilgrims were made in the ground. They had to grow. Good night. Have a great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Um, and uh, and, 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 and Boston itself was put the the majority of the time here, 90% of the, you know, for hundreds of years, Hi, Joe. 90% of the people worked in the hemp industry putting the ropes together. Um, the entirety of Boston, so, you know, there's a, there's a graphic that shows the streets of Boston yeah, versus vote? New York, this is New York, everything is organized, that one's nice, you know, you can go and go F yourself, go that one. And it's because these roadblocks were everywhere, so when they built the streets, they had to go around the roadblocks, and so, as a Bostonian, on this field trip, I was always told that the reason why the Boston Street so many cents is because they built the cow paths. And that was true for, for Congress Street. But everything else is built around these huge monstrosities. And, um, and then, beyond, you know, from the 1600s to 1700s, obviously, when we were putting uh, these two more fabrics and hemp drive. Um, they, they grew hemp right here in Chester County. They did? Yeah. Uh, so up, I don't up, even through, up through the 1800s. Okay. Yeah. My, my relatives in Alston. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, they did because, you know, it was useful to them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, there wasn't actually... And people don't know. I am people don't know that actually... You, you, know, you can't mix cannabis yeah. and marijuana. Because once you do, then the cross-pollination of it will <laughs> kill the potency of the plant. That's right. Yeah. 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 Because the, the, the hemp will mm-hmm. tingle, and then it'll just make it... Yeah. Um, so this so there's female-male hemp. Right? The problem typically is people aren't concerned all the time. So no, I didn't tell. But then if you put a hemp plant outdoors, it's going to go outdoors. Oh, yeah. So anybody who's going outdoors, if you really want to stop them from going outdoors, oh, just okay. go male hemp plant. Right. It will destroy the entirety of anyone doing anything like that. Yeah. Right. All of that. Really, really. 
they call that? Yeah, yeah Pollard. Pollard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it, it was tremendously fun. It was like very fun. Um, so, but but uh, Hub was definitely a big deal then. Um, it still is now. It's actually, but now they're using it for different things. But so the majority of this hemp that's being grown legally is being put into Delta A, Delta Ten to see how they can grow in space. That's coming under fire now. Um, a lot of people have been banned. A lot of people have. And the real reason is competing directly with the legal cannabis. Delta eight gummy for six dollars. I don't know if it is sixty. We don't want to look at that. But uh, but that certainly is, is going to be a problem here in New Hampshire. We have a lot of businesses here who are selling Delta eight gummy. Um, and then probably that's the majority of the businesses that stick around. Any of these shops would be great because you know a lot of people are in there. Or those vape cars. Yeah. yeah, like with the Delta 8, Delta 10. Oh, no, that's terrible. What I'm saying though, those are legal from the 2018 hemp bill, right? Because the 2023 hemp bill, one of the things that it hasn't happened, right? From the Delta, but one of the big parts of that when they were going to differentiate between hemp that's used for a hemp breed or a hemp that's for a product, and then hemp that's being used to uh, convert Delta 8. Or Delta 8. So, um, the best way to eradicate Delta 8 Delta 10 is allow for legal cannabis because if you have access to the actual weed, you would never be using Delta 8. But, uh, hey, what do you think of that? That whole thing is the hemp. It's, uh, it's pretty bad that we can't actually get clothes right now. If you try to buy a hemp t shirt, I mean, uh, you can do it online. It's like yeah. $60 for yeah, 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 that's true. But cotton is filthy, cotton is really bad. Shop <laughs> downtown. I think I think that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Used to be. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, have you ever worn any hemp clothes? I have. Yeah, yeah. a lot of times the ones I've worn are kind of rough feeling. Yeah. And I guess the Italian and the Japanese hemp are really on color. So, yeah. and, um, you gotta, and you gotta feed it. Yep, that's yeah. right. You let it rot. Thrash it. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk no to me today about the importance of cannabis in our society. You know, when people have access to legal cannabis, a couple things that happen. Uh, teenagers don't use more cannabis, they actually use less, and harder for them to get cannabis because of legal cannabis. Yeah. Another thing is, less people are put into treatment facilities, for whatever it is, it's five or six years. This is sustainable in California, Colorado, uh, Massachusetts, Maine, and all these places have had cannabis now for a little bit of time. And when the places who have this legal program, one of the forms of that is called a community impact. Yeah, that potentially legal cannabis is going to turn the town bad. It's going to hurt our town. But what's actually happening is the home values are going up. The people there aren't getting on drugs as much. Teenagers are doing less illicit drugs. Uh, I don't know. What, what's going to happen? Why do we have to not have legal cannabis? You already said it. It's the money. It's the money. Well, thanks for talking to me, brother. You're the man. That's probably not there you have it, here at the Keene Primary, primarily here in Keene. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no no can painting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the sign. No can, you're not can painting. I mean, no, 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 I'm reporting. Technically, you can ask a question over there, yeah. but the people can't talk about it because uh, it's beyond that no, sign. No, you're not supposed to be there. No, no, you are. No, right, not me. Right? Not me. But the voters can't. Like, I can walk in right now with my camera. Thank you. No problem. Oh, yeah, you don't have any, you know, you're not campaigning for any candidates. That's correct. Well, technically, if you're, if you're campaigning for an issue, but... I have no, I am not in bring up anything. I wouldn't even talk about any sort of issue. I'm literally there to record, and I'm going to do it. Yeah. Oh. But it's just... Okay, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> it is chilly. Wait, will you do anything? I'm gonna walk in a second. I can go home then. Let me go do that and then we'll go to the other side. I'm sorry. Best not to mention any candidate's names. That's, that's the key. Thank you. Oh man, big sale? Nice. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Okay, thank you very much. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's 
checking out the home location. So the rule is I can't be within six feet of that table while there's someone there. Yeah. Oh, you hold your camera on here. This is mine. You, you hold your camera? Oh. Um, yeah. So I can't be six feet from those tables yeah. while someone's at the table. And then I also cannot go beyond this over here. I would assume that it's just past that table. Other than that, I can be anywhere I want. I'm going to see if I can get the vote count. I wonder who I talked to. It was an electioneer. Who do you think the electioneer is? Excuse me, do you know who the electioneer is here? Pardon me? Who the electioneer is here? Uh, ah. This is our moderator. Oh, the moderator. Hi, how are you? Okay, uh, I'm just curious to what the vote count is currently. If I can get an update? Uh, yeah, it was 1,050, like 10 minutes ago. What was it again? 1,050. 1,050. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's a good amount. It's a good amount of votes. I think it goes to eight or something, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. That lady right there at the A to Z. She looks just almost spot like my grandmother. Oh yeah. She, she passed away. Oh, well, we'll just chill here for a couple more minutes here. So, we should go to our polling location and vote. Where's ours? Right across the street. Oh, yeah. Wait, don't you have to declare yourself like one side or the other? Yeah. Yeah. This is a Republican or Democrat primary. What I would do is, it uh, doesn't matter what party you register as, but just register as it and then vote for yourself. Oh, I just campaigned. We gotta leave now. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's so funny. Oops, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll buy the As soon as I walked in, the lady was like, Are cameras allowed? <laughs> I'm gonna get people coming in now. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I got you a chocolate chip muffin. Oh my god, you're the best. Yeah, I mean, you gotta let support the big I don't think anything is gonna change no matter what these results are. <laughs> these people, these elites are gonna do whatever they want. That's true. I accidentally campaigned. I said, I said, go into the voting booth and vote for yourself because no one else should run your life. And then I had to walk out because I was campaigning at that point. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, bad. We we gotta let other people rule over us. <laughs> good luck, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Here we are at the Ward Two official voting center. It's really exciting here today. A lot of people are out to vote to write the name of Joe Biden on a line that says write in whoever's name you'd like and Biden saying, hey, 
write my name on that line. This has been a big deal in New Hampshire for a long time because the police here arrest a lot of people for cannabis use and keep them in jail, paying a lot of money, which brings in a lot of revenue. No one seems to mind as long as they can write Joe Biden's name on a line. <laughs> All right, so no mention campaigns beyond this point. Yo, yo, yo. Campaigns. Campaigns, Joe. Campaigns. Campaigns. But is this, is this the sign right here? Like, is this the sign? Because we could, like, stand right here. No, it's just additional voter parking. Where is, like, that sign again? Because, like, they really trap you off from actually asking people any questions. Yeah. We can start asking easy questions. Like, where's the big sign? Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go in and film. Yeah. Let me just do that first. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. Holes are open. Eight nice. Seven. How's it going? Are you registered to vote in Yes. Yeah. Let's see who the moderator is. I have a I have a question. Uh, are you the moderator? Do you know who who the moderator is? He's moder. But when he has a chance, I I'll, I could talk to him. Okay. Hi. Um, I was wondering if I can get a uh, voter uh, total tally, if you have it, the number on the... On the I'd, be, yeah, I'd be happy to give that to you. Yeah. Um, just be aware that in the state of New Hampshire, it is perfectly fine. Six feet from that table. It's perfectly fine I, to get faces here. Yeah. But once people go beyond that bar when no, they're in the voting area... It's not my responsibility. Not I don't go that way. I'm not, right, but if, if I'm you, not my responsibility. If you see the faces... Look, I'm not going to stop you from doing it. I just want to make sure that you don't you're, inadvertently break a law. But you're uh, not understanding uh, open view laws. and So I might not be in the restricted agree. area. I don't agree I'm in the public law. area. Oh, I understand that. You know, I, like I said, I'm not yeah, going to stop you're you. You're not going to get me, bro. So it's either, it's either you know, I'm going to have my rights respected and I can point my camera wherever I want from a public area, yeah. or you're going to tell me otherwise. Uh, and that's a problem. I'm not telling you you can't do it. What I'm going to say is there is a law... Can you please uh, show I, me? I, I, I've, I actually the, I've actually read the. I've actually read the laws. I've actually read the laws. Actually, I had this argument with uh, Dick Tracy. If, He's if the election you are, if you are electioneer. Law, that's fine. I do. do, do what you want. But you're trying to give me uh, orders, I'm and I, I'm, orders. I'm trying to respectfully just get some news content here, and I, I, totally and, and you already give me problems. And I'm I not really, giving, I really, I'm not giving, look, yeah, you said don't point it that way, but watch no, this. No, I didn't say don't point it. I didn't oh. say don't point. Oh, I'm not going over there. What I wanted to say was, I don't want you to accidentally break the law. If you want to deliberately you, break dude, the law, you're totally I, cool. I promise you, I would not deliberately that's, break that's the totally law. Fine. I know the law very well. That's cool. In that case, could, do could I just have that number count, please? I'd like to see yeah, the vote sure. count. I, uh, I don't want any trouble. I'm not, not here to get mad, dude. I know. But you started that way. He, no, you, no, look. You did. All right, don't try to make I, me run. Look, here's no, no, the thing. No, 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 no. I've been voting libertarian in this, I, in this hey, state. Hey, no, oh, you, you, you're, you're campaigning right now, sir. I'd be no. very quiet so, what you're saying. I'm just be saying very, I can't believe the moderator just, just campaigned in here. Uh, can, so, you, can, you just, can you please just, can you please, 
I asked for the monitor, but can you please give me the view count before you make a mistake, before you inadvertently break the law? Holy cow, I'm trying to prevent him from breaking the law now. <laughs> it's seven, we're at 781 right now. Thank you, Scott. Look, man, I'm not your enemy. I know, but you came, your approach was no, no. really off, man. Yeah, no, 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 it came off. Yeah. It came off. All I wanted was I wanted to make sure that if you were going to break a law, I'm, dude, it, that you that you knew it. I don't need any warning, dude. You're not a cop. You're not anything like no, that. No, I'm not. And, and I'm not you don't even know the law because I actually do know the law of this place. I, I know. Mean, I know exactly how campaigns and elections should be working. Cool. Not campaigns, elections. Then, because I've read the rules to Dick Tracy because he didn't know him, and he's the the uh, the totally Department fine. of Justice electioneer. You're cool. You're cool. Just okay. Do your thing, you. That's right. Don't give me directives. Holy cow. I will. You're like, don't do this. Don't do this. You're silly, man. Don't worry, Scott. It'll be online soon. I was really dumb to say all that stuff on camera. I used to do the wow. That's it. Yeah, he's gonna run off, finish his report somewhere else. Oh, right here. You leave him with a warning? What's that? You give him a warning? Good, thank you. These other suckers just came to sightsee I paint a picture with the pen My mistakes write me I say officer, officer But it's all of ya, all of ya Tryna trap me in the system You an informant, huh? I don't need no direction You just mad that I'm flexing Got my stash in the records And now it's legal to sell it So shout out to the jealous cocksucking Knock tellers trying to hold me down But I'm up, boy, tell them Officer, 